They're stuck. Unlock it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all ready to watch some movies? Let's go. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have another war movie. This one is done. Kirk came out 2017. It's rated 70%. Let's see what I would rate it. Let's see how I feel. Now, the war genre, we already know it can be bloodshed, violent, emotional, emotional, um, mixed emotions, a lot of emotions. Uh, we did saving, saving Private Ryan. Let's see how it makes us feel. Honestly, um, like I said, it gives me mixed emotions. So, you know, your girl doesn't like to cry. <laughs> but when it comes to people like just dying, it's like how can you not? Like it's emotional. It's emotional. With that being said, let's get straight into this one. Let me know how you guys feel down in the comments. We're gonna talk about it or ignore it. More moves you guys want me to do the titles down in the comments put them fully thrash will be in the link down in the description go show your girl some love drama action history and war and let's explore the enemy have driven the british and french armies to the sea so we just wait and we don't even have water hoping for deliverance so quiet for a miracle, so anything can happen. Anything. I guess you don't even have time to think. I told y'all this gonna be to be stressful. How are you supposed to defend? English, I'm English. Only. So we around the corner from the bad guys. I need to borrow a gun. <laughs> Well, yeah, we've driven out to the sea. That's what it said. Yeah, I think he was trying to do that back there, but he couldn't. We had to run for our life. Still not a good time. Digging for, oh, we're burying. Oh, he took his boots. That has to be tough too. Took his boots. We didn't even need to communicate. Look at the line. One week. Look, and we're just all standing here up in the open. Are they about to shoot at us? They are. Oh my gosh. I mean, at this point, start start shooting. That just blew up that man's body. I'm like, nothing just... Where's the bloody Air Force? Too bad of anxiety for all of that. Some men across the channel at Dunkirk need taking off. Some men. Jack Jewel, 41 and 2. Understood. Vector 1, 2, 8, Angels point five. They just left him? Or they could have got shot <laughs> then, yeah. This music tone isn't going to kill me. <laughs> oh, he is not letting them in. Yeah, the ship is leaving. We are not going to make it. Scoot over, hurry. That's two minutes. That's scary too, like, what if they shoot the, the ship? A hole in it, like. We're gonna have to toss him onto the ship. Because look, at least he's getting help if he gets on it. Dunkirk's so far, why can't they just load a Cali? The enemy had something to say about it. So I said toss him. Now we might have to. It's all about balance. Oh, there's one still open. Good. Thanks for the help, George. 
You do know where we're going. And he jumps on. I'll be useful, sir. Oh, I don't think George wanna stay. You two, they shift on. Yeah, they're trying to stay. Right. What of ours, George? Oh, okay. So many people. Yeah, you would think it'd be hard to hit your target. On my mark. I guess if you know what you're doing. Wasn't so hard. Club. Yeah, he's down for the count. Forty two, I have you in my port. I have no eyes on forty leader. Sneaky sneaky. You're gonna have to decide how many more wounded to evacuate. One stretcher takes the space of seven standing men before we make terms. Make terms? We're not stopping here. We need to get our army back. Churchill wants 30,000. Rams is hoping we can give him 45. Right, well, this mole stays open at all costs. Better than standing out here with a guy box. It's impossible. The mole it is then, gentlemen. Or a threat. Let's say a threat. He has to see him first time before he helps. He has to get closer! Can't risk it! What's your name? Records below. Tomorrow the 109. Record his position. Been set heading one, two. Fortis two, what's your fuel? 50 gallons, over. When our fuel gets low. No, no. I'm fairly confident it's just a case. One more thing we have to worry about. There they come. All you can do is pray at this point. I just knew it. I knew that bridge was coming. Don't lose the ship. Look, he helping people from hiding. Oh, he's so close. Oh, the sh yeah, the ship is going down. It was shot up. Yeah, all the wounded just drowned. Do you want to come? The ones that couldn't get up. All right, we're about five minutes out, so climb to 2,000. Right, Highlanders, let's find you another ship. Yeah, we might as well act like we just came from the... <laughs> Can't they tell like we're different? They all wearing the same thing. Show me your friend. I wouldn't want to be bothered either. He's still out there. Okay. They jump in the water. I see your point, son. Well, let's plot the course. Peter, we got space for man to lie down. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at all the life jackets. We are going. He may never be himself again. I think he's sneaking to lock it. Yes, he is. She's lining up to drop her load on that minesweeper. Fighters? Yep, 109's up our starboard. We are about to go down.
No, under the water, y'all. And we didn't see it. <gasps> they stuck. Unlock it. Like, no, because they are stuck. Somebody open it. I hope. I know he's trying. Don't tell me only two, one person. Oh, okay, they're coming out. In the middle of eating. be any home if we allow a slaughter across the channel. That part. So you have to see the bigger picture, sir. Airplane was shot up. Yeah, and he's down. I thought it was only a matter of time. Did he make it out? It's a room! No! 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 Get off! Have life jackets? Yes, they do. Don't panic, boys. The water's not too rough or too cold. Save your strength. We'll come back for you. Rose in! Well, how long would that be? Oh. Oh. What is it you think you can do out there on this thing? Did it help you against the dive bombers and the U boats? Turn it off! Call me down! Yeah, because that's his boat. Hear me, George. Now George need hospital help. choice. He about to run out of fuel. The waves are coming in bad too and fast. What is he doing? He just took his helmet off. Sir, what are you doing? Yeah, I think he just gave up. It's turning now. How can you tell? The body's come back. Oh, my God. Are you Mr. Dawson? It's the best thing I've ever done. You are right. I told my dad I'm, I've done nothing that's cool. I need you back up on deck as soon as you're... Maybe he shouldn't sleep right now. I can't see. I didn't know you can hit your head so hard it makes you where you go blind. For now. The next battle. Oh. The one from Britain. It's the same with the planes. They need to send more yeah. ships. If yeah. The enemy. We need destroyers. Small boats can load from the beach. Not in these conditions. Six hours time. Yeah, and the tide is coming back. The tides are every three. Where's the crew? Probably got spooked after they ran aground. I was going to say how are we going to get into the water, but the tide's coming. <laughs> it makes sense. We should be turned back. We've come so far. That was that one of ours? And we did. Say, I'm down. What goes out comes back in again, right? They're going to to shoot us. Yeah, but he's running out of fuel. Watch the Spitfire. And they Watch keep coming. Parachute. Wow. 
Who is we? Wait for the tide. Who you really came back? The time must be in. Left. Oh, oh now I'm just. Oops, I shouldn't have. Okay, we see him fall. Collins, are you there? Impact. Yeah, we didn't see him make it out. Now it's jammed. You have to be kidding me. No! I don't know where he Well, the ship's not going to be no good if we have holes in it. He's a German spy. Don't be daft. He's a fucking Jerry. People switch up in a blink of an eye. There goes the ship right there, but it's not what we can do when he sinks. Jerry! Sam, for God's sake! I thought it was his mate. Maybe he killed him. You kill him. How do we know? How hard is it to find a dead Englishman in Dunkirk Beach? Trying to make sure she would float. Was she still float? Oh, yes. Oh, shit. It's fear. It's greed. They push for the bells of men. And so be it. Live with it. It's wrong. Yeah, at this point, we are fighting. In the middle of about to drown. Okay, this is too much at once. This been it. We can help all of them. Oil. We're in oil. And he is out of fuel. Yeah, I think we need to go. And he drowns. He said he is not going below deck. Yeah, so loud. Keep coming. I wouldn't want to go below deck either just because we've seen what happened. Oh. So be bloody careful with him. Yeah. They are jumping off and he is swimming towards. Scoop back. Why are we still trying to get on? Hurry. Finally. And there goes the fire. As the other one scream. Still so many people waiting. Where are you from? Out of Dartmouth! You watch the current in the mouth! No more in the sky, no more eyes in the sky. No! Um, 
before he ran out. I thought he did run out. No, stay downstairs, please. We just want to see the clips. So it's over. No. I guess he never ran out of fuel, <laughs> which is good, but I just knew he was going to run out. Where the hell were you? They know where you were. Yeah, he was in the sky. That old bloke wouldn't even look us in the eye. Yeah, should we still complain? I know we're officers! I'm staying. For the French. Hey! Where are we? Grab me one of them papers. Can't bear it. They'll be spitting at us in the streets. If they're not locked up waiting for the invasion. Our thankfulness at the escape of our army must not blind us to the fact of what has happened in France and Belgium. He's going to say now he's having a problem landing. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. 17. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. The new world with all its power and might steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. Not to have a lot of sceneries, this was definitely a big impact and deep. You know, like I said, when you're dealing with war or army or battle, you know, it just makes it more emotional because, again, people really went through this. I couldn't, like, my anxiety, paranoid, like, I don't know if I could last. Outnumbered and they have no choice. I mean, we were just in a bad position, honestly. Bad position, trying to survive. That's what we fought for, to survive at this point. And not only that, but at, towards the end, there was a lot of volunteers that came out, which was touching, and I wanted to be more happy for it, but it was just too much going on for me to even take the time out to enjoy them coming through for us, you know? Okay, so the one at the end. So like he said, he was saving everyone in the sky, and then like it's kind of disappointing to see him at the end and like left behind. I guess he was the last one to bail, so it's just like who would be, still be there. Not only that, but again, I'm pretty sure that man was running out of fuel the whole movie. That's why we kept asking the partner, like, where are you at in fuel? Because his, his gauge thing, it was cracked and broken, he couldn't see. And you know, when, like, again, when you think about the war in the army, you think about a lot of gun, gun battles. It wasn't a lot of gun battles, it was a lot of in the sky and on the ships. It wasn't like a lot of gun battle. I feel like it was reversed too in certain scenes of the group of characters. Let me know that. Let me know that. Because like when his partner dropped, it went it went to a different whole scene and then like it went back to him. We didn't even know if he was out of the um the plane he was in. It didn't show it just showed him going down. So let me know if it's like skipped or reverse in the scenes. Okay, so it's just one of those movies that work like puzzles. You have to put the pieces together and link them together. Put it into place basically. It makes more sense if you do it like that. And again, that goes back to the gun battle. It's like what, 300K, 400K men. At this point, we, we know they have the upper hand. Was it the German force? Around their perimeter, like they have the upper hand. So it's just like, there's no way you can get past. We can get past it. And this happened in the 1940s. I do believe the settings has taken place. And rest in peace to George because again, he was so young, like innocent. They got into that little tussle and he hit his head in a blink of an eye. Like, it is your head. You need your head, your heart, your brain. Like, so overall, the visual, the structure, we can even go as far as the sound of the music was all took it into the right place and it turned out to be a nice movie it really was um it was sad don't get me wrong but it wasn't like i was when i watched um private ryan you know? yeah everything seems to be lost and no matter what they did not give up so this was a struggle of a struggle of anonymous heroes and like i said it makes it more scary and when it's real i was scared when i was about to drown too in the ship like that was that was crazy too. The evacuation of WW2. Put your comments down below. Extremely powerful. Um, like I said, emotions emotions get everywhere when we react to war drama, army genre. Put your comments down below. Let me know how you guys feel. Follow me through. I should be down in the description. Come join me over there. Help the channel out. Where we watch full movie reactions and TV shows. And like to spoil my movies. And you guys just see Dunkirk through my eyes. And yeah, it was worth seeing. Let's talk about it or ignore it.
let's talk about it. Let me know more fun facts. Anything you guys want to tell me the first time you've seen it, let me know if we had the same reactions, the same feelings. How did you feel about certain scenes and the characters? So yeah, let's talk about it.